Hi, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching our videos and thank you so much as well for subscribing to our So in this video, I will share with you some American English words and their British English counterpart. Generally speaking, Filipinos are more inclined to using the American English because we've been colonized by the Americans for like 48 years already. So, mas familiar sa atin ang American English kaysa sa British English. However, despite our exposure to the American English, the Filipinos are now global citizens kasi we go abroad to work, some of us go abroad to study. Uh, so, na-expose na rin tayo sa iba't ibang varieties ng English. And at times, meron din tayong mga kabayan na nagsasalita ng British English so nagkakaroon ng confusion so in this video I would like to just share with you a few words na uh, ginagamit natin at saka yung counterpart nila sa British English in this video mga words lang po ang aming share sa inyo and the equivalent of these American English words to the okay British. so let's start by the way yung mga words po na ito that we're going to share with you are taken from British Council Foundation .id. so if you want to look for more words you can like check that website so let's start number one in our list would be apartment in the American English we call that apartment but for British English, apartment is flat. Okay, so don't be confused. Sila po ay magkapareho, kaya lang they are from two different varieties of English. Okay, so second would be cookie. I love cookies. Siguro lalo na ngayon na naka home quarantine kayo, you are, you have the tendency to keep, you know, munching cookies. But for British English, they call that biscuit. And it's not also biscuit, it's biscuit. Simple. Cookie, biscuit. And third would be French fries. You know that um, potato chips na binibili natin sa McDonald's, Jollibee. According to British Council Foundation.id, so American English, that's called French fries. But for the British English, they call that chips. Okay, so French fries for Americans, chips for British. And then fourth sa ating listahan ngayon would be store. American English call that store. But for the British English, they call that shop. So store for American English, shop for British English. Okay, so next would be mailbox. So mailbox for American English and then postbox for British English. Next would be sneakers. Okay, sneakers, ito yung mga training shoes, running shoes, uh, otherwise known as rubber shoes. Pero for British English, ang tawag doon would be trainers. Kaya yeah, when you visit shoe shops, makikita niyo parang trainers, ganoon. So, sneakers, trainers. Pareho yun. The other one is American English. The, the other word is from the British English. And then, of course, this is very popular, yung soccer. Soccer is American English. Football naman sa British English. Okay? So, wag po kayong makonfuse. Again, Soccer's equivalent in the British English is football. They mean the same thing. And the next one would be soda. Okay, yung Coca-Cola, Pepsi. So soda would be an American English word. And then its equivalent in the British English would be fizzy drink. Fizzy drink. Yun. And next in our list would be vacation. Vacation is American English and its equivalent in the British English would be holiday. So, mapapansin ninyo, lalo na dito sa Oman, our bosses would usually refer to vacation as holiday kasi they are more inclined to be using the British English. Pero sa atin kasi na Filipinos, as I mentioned earlier in this video, we are more um, familiar with the American English. So, vacation is American English. Holiday, holiday is British English. And then last but not least in our list would be college. College is an American English, 
and university is a British English. So yun po yung ating uh, mga words that we would like to share with you today. I hope may natutunan po kayo. I think the point is that um, kapag gusto niyong gamitin yung American English in your writing, in, in your speaking, um, the, the advice that they usually give is be consistent. Lalo na sa writing. Kasi when it comes to spelling, sabi ko nga kanina, they are actually different. And of course, yung vocabulary nga magkakaiba. So if you use, for example, flat, it means to say that you are um, you are attempting to use the British English. All throughout your write-up, dapat um, British English vocabulary ang gagamitin mo. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching our videos. And if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And do not forget to click on that notification bell so you get to be notified every time we upload a new video. Once again, maraming salamat po. Masalama!